Okay, Amigen 300, let's take a look at the multimeter that you'll find at your bench when you arrive in CTLM 123 to do your in-class work. Um, so this multimeter is a bench top multimeter. It looks a little intimidating because it's big and it has a lot of buttons, but if you've used a handheld multimeter before, this is pretty much the same sort of thing, just a little bit fancier. Okay. In this class, we'll mostly be using the multimeter to measure voltages and resistances. So we'll show you how to do that today. Um, and some of the more advanced features uh, we'll not be using in this class. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to turn it on. Power button's down here. And we'll let the multimeter turn itself on. And we'll need to connect some test leads. So over here, we have a few different connectors where we can put test leads in. Um, depending on what type of measurement that we're using. So we always have to connect a wire to the common input, which is kind of like your negative terminal. So I'll plug that in there. Okay. And we need to put the positive test lead in depending on where, what type of measurement we're trying to do. So the most common terminal we'll use up here is this guy at the top, which you'll notice is labeled that this is used for voltage measurements, Resistance, diodes, frequencies, and continuity are what these symbols up here at the top mean. If we're measuring current, there's two different terminals uh, depending on the range that we're using. So the small currents go, go through this guy, and if we need to measure a larger current, then we'd use this terminal down here. Um, today, we're gonna be looking at voltages and resistances, so let's use the top terminal. Okay, and we can go ahead and plug that in. Now, I have set up a simple circuit, which is just a one kilo ohm resistor connected to a five volt power supply. There, so that's all this is. So we're just measuring the drop across a one kilo ohm resistor. This should be set to five volts if my power supply is correct. So let's connect the test lead. So I'm gonna connect the positive to positive and the negative to negative. Okay. Here's a shot of that, so you can see what I've got going on here. So my test leads are just connected across that resistor, so we see the voltage drop across the resistor. And we should see that our uh, multimeter is telling us that we're measuring about five volts. Now, sometimes the multimeter will be set to the wrong setting to measure voltages, so if it is, like say we were set to ohms, um, we can come back here, and the, the way you set it to DC volts is just push this button here, and alternating current volts. So if we had to measure something uh, that was like a sine wave voltage, so if we were using a wall current or we had some sort of signal that was an alternating current, you can push that button there, right? And let's go back to DC volts. And that's how you do a simple voltage measurement. Now, sometimes when you come in here, you may see a warning sign that looks something like that, where it says OVLD. That means overload. So this is just telling you that the voltage is outside of the multimeter's current range. You can adjust the range that you're looking at with these buttons down here. So there's a range down and a range up. So you can just push the range up to get to a higher voltage. So we're still over two volts. So we're still getting an overload. If we go up to the next range, up to 20 volts, now it's going to reach uh, or read the correct value. There's also an auto ranging button here also. So if you hit this auto range, it will pick the range that it thinks is most appropriate based off of uh, the voltage that it's seeing coming in there. All right, so that's how you do a voltage measurement with the multimeter. Now we could also do a resistance measurement by switching over to ohms. Now you'll notice that I'm getting that overload error message again, even though I have my test leads connected across the resistor. Now the reason for this is because my, my resistor is part of a circuit and it's being powered. So if you wanna measure the resistance of a component, you need to have that component by itself with no extra power going through it. The multimeter is actually gonna send out a little bit of a voltage to try and measure that, uh, that resistance on its own. And if we have an external voltage source going, that's gonna mess up its internal measurement and that's why it's not reading correctly. So if I just disconnect my power from this, totally disconnect it, 
you notice now I'm reading about one kilo ohm, which is what this, this resistor value is. So that's a good thing to keep in mind if we want to measure our resistances is just make sure that we have that component by itself, not part of any other larger circuit, or we're going to get some weird uh, resistance measurements. So that is a basic intro to your benchtop multimeter, um, which should cover about 90% of the situations you find yourself in the lab of how to use it. Um, so give that a go and use this as a really great tool for troubleshooting your circuits and confirming that you're getting the correct voltages where you think you are or if you have the correct uh, resistance components that you're planning on using in your circuit.